Hello my darling, welcome to my channel. I'm your favorite actor Sita here today again with a new pick up pile reading and my darling you already know in today's video we're gonna be knowing that first you are turning on your person and then you are sleeping and going back to the bed. So how will your person react my darling and it is one of the beautiful suggestions from my darling. So let's go find out to my darling your future spouse's reaction when you are first turning them on and then going back to sleep okay my darling so baby if you're new to my channel have no idea what is going on let me tell you i am an intuitive trader and i use my intuition and magical power to channel messages from angels and universe to guide you guys this is purely intuitive best reading so trust your intuition and trust your gut feelings in order to choose the perfect group for yourself and if you're definitely down to more than one group feel free to choose this group as well my group number one you got it thinker my group number two you got the truth to be told and my group number three you got the mending okay i'm going to give you the beautiful closure look where you can pause the video and choose the proper group for yourself whichever you are drawn to I hope my darling you choose the perfect group for yourself. I'll give the timestamps in the description box. Go there, click on the timestamps and the video will give you the exact timing when your pile is going to be started. My darlings, if you're not into my soul tribe, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon for a new update because I will every day, my darling. I love to get in touch with your energies. Hello my darling, so amazing group number one, welcome, welcome to your magical reading. So my darling, you choose the thinker card and I love the card my darling because it really talks about in your relationship, your future spouse is going to be someone who really think of you a lot. Like you are always in their mind, no matter what, you are always in their mind, this person think about you, this person just, you're just living in their head, okay, you're always in their head, you're always in their mind. This person loves to think about you. So the core reaction that I'm getting, okay, that your person will think that what is going on with your mind or what you are thinking or what's really happening. Your person will really think that maybe they have done something wrong. What's really going on? Why well, you're not doing anything, okay? Definitely you're going to be knowing more. But with the thinker card, angel number 444, my group number one, you're going to marry someone who is an overthinker or you could be an overthinker watching my video. But more where your person will think, a lot that what just happened why you're not doing the other thing why you're just stopping and sleeping on the bed what's really happening that's the main uh, reaction that i'm getting so they will think a lot or maybe they will think so much that that night they cannot sleep okay they will like remain sleepless <laughs> you are giving them sleepless night my group number one that's the energy that i'm picking up so let's go find out my group number one but you are turning on your person and then going back to sleep so what is the reaction of your future spouse let's go find out the reaction of your person okay the wheel of fortune first of all my darling when you're turning them on they're really feeling very happy very excited and their mind is really running very wild they are like oh my god go for it yes baby i love it group number one whenever you are taking charges your person just love the fact that you are taking charges, you're just uh, taking the leadership, you're taking the initiative, your person loves the fact that you're doing it. With the Wheel of Fortune, for some moment, your person is definitely having the vibe like they're flying in the sky, they're on cloud nine, they're feeling very happy, very excited. With the Wheel of Fortune, it talks about an expected turn that you are really doing, and that is really giving your person goosebumps, and they are feeling excited with the full exactly my darling maybe you know, your person will definitely feel that something is different my group number one it's like you are turning them on and you're taking the initiative and it's not something that you usually do so it's something new it's something adventurous your person will find out that mm, it's something new exciting it's something cool it's something different but what's really happening um is it okay is it fine are you okay so with the full card your person will have lots of queries or question in their mind that are you okay are you fine is it okay what's really going on your person will be like a bit shocked first of all when you are turning them on your person will be shocked that what's just happening why you're really behaving that way 
are you okay am i okay am i done something wrong or what's really happening are we celebrating something this is the vibe i'm getting with the full energy it's like an excitement and a ha happiness that is really coming out of nowhere and your person is just asking themselves that what's really happening today maybe it's a it's a special day what's happening okay <laughs> yeah like your person is very much shocked the shocking energy is here when you're really taking the initiative and you're turning them on yeah four of all ones your person will feel like oh my god like they are head, head over heels for you with the four of ones oh baby your person is very sweet very cute they're like oh my god my group number one is really spoiling me too much Am I that lucky? Am I that spoiled? Yeah, four of ones really talks about happiness, a tremendous happiness that you will give your person for those initial part when you are turning them on. Okay, now I'm feeling a bit bad for your person. So here is the vibe like I'm feeling a bit sad because your person will be very excited. They will be very much excited that you are really turning them on, and they they'll they'll be very happy. Excitement, happiness, um, enjoyment is here. Also, lots of unexpected happiness that your person really can't believe their eyes. And, like, I'm not getting that they are really turning on by those things, but moreover, they're shocked. Okay? Whatever you're doing, your person is shocked. The shocking energy, the shocking vibe is here. Your person is like, they're in shock that what's really happening? What What is going on? Are you Okay. Have you taken some sort of aphrodisiac drug or something? <laughs> yeah. Your person is like asking you that. Did you eat something? Are you okay? Are you good? Did you drink something? <laughs> okay. So, let's go find out. Move on. Yeah. With the devil. Mm, baby. With the devil energy. Look at that. What you made me do. Look what you made me do. That is exactly the vibe. My group number one. Your person is like... What you made me do, my group number one, why you're doing this, why you're becoming so, so, so passionate over me right now, because you are my group number one, you are a little devil, and let me tell you one thing, if you take charges, oh my god, like fire can feel they are, like fire can be colder than you, because you are hotter than fire, you are hotter than hell, that's why I'm getting with the devil card, my group number one, your person is like, group number one, you are hotter than hell, it feels like I am I'm exactly on the frying pan. <laughs> yeah, exactly my group number one with the devil card. Lots of what do you say? This obsessive energy, strong passion vibe, animal instincts. Yes, my group number one. So maybe the way you're gonna be turning your person on, it's quite seductive and it's quite wild. I'm getting wildness is really coming out from you when you're trying to turning on your person when you try when you're trying to turn on your person that there's like you using your wild animal or beastie side with the devil energy it's like mm, you are just you know pulling the strings and your person is really behaving that way plus a strong pull is there it's like you can definitely manipulate your person in different ways yeah look at that the star maybe it's something that your person has been waiting for my group number one it's like your person is really feeling that yes i can get it i can have my group number one like this so the, the the point of time when you're really turning them on it's like your person is really getting their wish come true or dream fulfillment maybe it's something that they have been wishing for a long time and they can see it right now in front of their eyes exactly that's really happening okay now let's go find out when you are turning them on and then leaving them and sleeping on the bed okay you're not continuing those things and you are sleeping then how would your person react when you are suddenly like okay bye good night i'm sleepy okay <laughs> so how would your person react at this point of time okay the magician they can see that you are a teaser yes my group number one it's like your person is intelligent enough to understand that something is in your mind and you are not your usual type so maybe you're about to do something that is going to change the whole mood your person is extremely intuitive and some of your person will know that you're about to do something after that okay and your person is, was right with the magician card yes your person is very much shocked after you know looking at you the, the point you're really turning them on but 
your person is really feeling not that shocked when you are telling them that okay bye i'm sleepy and uh, i'm sleeping so yeah your person is not that shocked with the magician card they know it your person is like mm -hmm. you know they will have that smirk on their face like i knew it i knew it okay you're going to do that i knew it so your person is like mm, okay i knew it oops so it's like yeah your person will be like Mm, I knew it that you're going to do that with the magician card it's something that your person already can channel before you do it so your person is very intelligent one okay it's not easy to fool your person it's not easy to pull a prank on your person okay with the magician card your person just know that you're going to do that so how would your person react in a sword <laughs> somehow somehow my darling though your person is like I knew it you're going to do that but still they are heartbroken they're feeling a bit sad okay <laughs> with the ten of swords it's like hmm like you no know, they were having the extreme excitement with the with the wheel of fortune and then ten of swords exactly the, the thing you have wanted to make your person feel you're about to make them feel that way my darling because ten of swords they're really feeling heartbroken or <laughs> heartbroken is a very big word <laughs> so they're really feeling that oh my god i expected so many things and i got excited for nothing <laughs> it's like yeah ten of sword it's like hmm i really thought so many things i really had so many imagination running in my head for a moment and you're like turning me on and sleeping like this it's not going to happen with the ten of sword it's like the person is feeling backstabbed or your person is really um feeling like oh you got me off guard so don't worry i will i will take revenge don't worry your person is like yeah i will come back at you with this kind of prank again i will pull the same prank on you don't worry okay but with the ten of sword somehow they will feel uh, boring after that okay when you're really key really turning them on and then going back to sleep your person is really going to feel bored because they they really wanted it to continue like this because with the magician card someone your person really thought that you're going to do that and your person is really feeling crazy that oh my god why i thought that way maybe i manifested this kind of thing for myself but with the ten of swords they will feel bad they will feel very sad okay so in my opinion don't do this kind of thing my group number one because it's not a good way to make your partner feel that way but let's go continue how your person react yeah with this oh my god okay okay now you really oh my god group number one you really work up the beast with the strength card so i'm getting the scenario my darling you're like turning them on and then telling them that i'm sleepy baby let's go sleep and your person is like for a moment they will be like oh my god what was that what was that you really did that and not that and you now you're running no i'm not going to let you run with the strength card your person will hug you very tightly from behind i'm getting like you know the spooning position where you are the little spoon whether you're a male or a female doesn't matter you are the little spoon and your person is the big spoon and you're really slipping uh like turning your head on the different side and your person is like hugging you strongly from behind and that is a very strong hug and your person is like no i'm not going to let you slip like that because you just take away my sleep you just make me sleepless and you can't sleep by making me feel this way no it's not going to happen with the strength card it's not going to happen okay <laughs> that's the vibe i'm getting with the strength vibe your person is like oh baby no okay you turned me on and now it's time for you to repay this thing yeah with the moon card okay okay with the moon and the okay the prince of cups with the princess of cups that is the page of cups energy so here i'm kidding you guys are really not doing love making but really cuddling very strongly i can see strong cuddle or spooning energy or tickling vibe maybe a person will tickle you or i don't know like bite you tickle you or just you guys are laughing okay i can see you guys are laughing you guys are like they are tickling you you are tickling them and then with the princess of cups it's like they are going to treat you like a baby then okay then you guys are really cuddling or just snuggling up and then sleeping that's the vibe um after that so your person they will definitely be feeling um a bit heartbroken at first 
uh, when you're really telling them that you're feeling sleepy but then your person is like no i'm not going to let you sleep because you started this you then i will end this okay because i'm not going to let that things just go away that easily so but with the moon and face of cups kind of like it's the energy of kissing okay some pet kisses or kissing on your hands on your shoulder on your palm or on your cheeks on your forehead and then it's like cuddling that's the energy is here it's very sweet energy it's like two beautiful puppies are together enjoying it <laughs> that's the energy of you my group number one it's so cute okay you guys are very cute together also cuteness and i can see lots of laughter you guys are laughing out very loud okay so what what else okay look at that the temple okay the ship shifter exactly that is you and the mentor wow some of your person is going to tell you that babe it's it's not a good way to deal with me don't worry i will take revenge your person is going to say this kind of word and you're like oh baby come on i'm ready for that revenge okay i'm ready you can do anything with me then your person is definitely going to show their uh, nurturing side to you with the mender curse some of your person is like you know what my group number one I'm really fine that you are doing this with me because you can do anything with me. Because with the mentor card, our energy, your person is quite adaptable and flexible. So whatever you do to them with love, your person is really going to love that. And love the fact that you are doing these things only with them. And you, you, your person is the only one who can see this quirky side of you. So somehow my darling, your person will feel that they are blessed to have you in their life but with the temple card your relationship is going to be very spiritual and lots of mutual respect is here so your person is someone my darling they're not going to force you to have something on their terms no it's it's mutual decision it's mutual love mutual connection so there is no force is really working on you my group number one okay it's on your choice if you want it things will happen on your terms if you don't want it it's okay with the temple card, they truly respect you and respect your um, guards as well. But with the shape shifter, your person is definitely going to tease you a lot. That oh my God, you're really turning me on, and what? Why you are running away? Are you afraid of me? Are you afraid that I will eat you up? Okay, don't play that game. Okay, you are the deer and I'm the tiger. Okay, so mm. <laughs> your person is gonna be that beautiful predator on the bed but your person is going to give you lots of nurturing vibe nurturing energy it's like wow i can bite you <laughs> this is the energy wild uh beastie but very funny side very goofy side your person will show you that day so their reaction is gonna be like mixed First, they will be feeling a bit uh, broken, sad, and then they're going to be really coming out, coming up with that funny energy in the bed, okay? <laughs> oh, what's happening more in your relationship? Let's go find out some cards that really shows your relationship release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. And then you got the trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. My group number one, in this connection, there is trust, loyalty, commitment, strong, strong trust, loyalty, commitment. Nobody can come between you two. Trust is here. Your person trusts you, you trust them. Okay, no one, no one can come between you two and release. No matter what you guys are going through, both of you are able to come out from negative energies and let go of the situation that is really not serving you guys for your highest good angel number 444 is gonna be very important for you guys okay leo is here maybe you're a leo your person can be a leo don't let your pride get in your way so look i'm getting a bit with egoistic energy or overly confident vibe it's just because because you and your person both of you are having such a confidence in this relationship but in a way my group number one your person will be like a lion i told you like a person is like a lion like mm, baby you cannot run away if i really want you i can definitely hunt you down okay <laughs> yeah and again, you got the Aries energy of fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag, 
fire energy is very strong here group one maybe your fire energy or your person could be fire energy actually a sag with the image energy your person is someone they're very much headstrong once they want to they want to nobody can stop them from having you so lots of loyalty commitment is here Mm. Also, your person really needs lots of attention from you. Your person really enjoys lots of attention. So, they will need lots of attention from you. Scorpio, work through your fears. So, group one, if you're really having some kind of fears regarding relationship, you don't have to have it, okay? Because your person is going to make you feel secure and safe in this relationship. That's beautiful because... You're also going to make them feel the same way. There is safety, security, and feeling safe and secure is very much here in this connection. So that's all I got for you, my group number one. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give it a thumbs up also, my darling. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon for new update. Till then, stay blessed and happy. I love you so much. Hello, my darling, my amazing group number two. Welcome, welcome to your magical reading. So you choose the truth be told card. So, wow, beautiful. <laughs> truth be told card. First of all, my group number two, I'm getting that. And you're turning on your person and you're just telling them that, okay, baby, I'm sleepy. I'm going to sleep. So here what is happening that you're going to do that. But somehow you're going to be telling your person um, that you're going to do this kind of thing to them and then you are ready for their reaction or how would they react or what's really going on so i'm getting it's like you're not a pulling prank on them but in a way you're gonna be very honest with them and you're gonna be tell them that look baby i'll try my best to turn you on and then we will be sleeping and then i want to know what's your reaction or what you're really feeling what you're really thinking i just want to know that what you want to do group number two somehow I'm getting like you are just curious to know that how does your person react when you're turning them on and you're leaving them. You just want to see their reaction, they, how they want to calm themselves down, what they will do to cool down. Okay, so maybe you're going to be really telling your person a baby. Okay, just for example, I want to know that, look, I'm just turning you on. So without having any kind of physical connection or love making, how could you or how can you calm yourself down? So it's just, it's just a group number two. I'm getting that you are asking your person to show you that how they would calm themselves down when it's not possible for them to get you physically um, then and there, okay? So that this is the vibe I'm getting. With the truth be told, you are not someone that you're going to be pulling prank on your person, no. It's like you will tell them and you will show their reaction. It's going to be fun, okay? It's, it's going to be vice versa. Like You will also tell your person that you can do that with me as well, okay? And see that how I calm myself down. So that's the vibe here is going on. So let's go find out. When you're turning your person on, how would they react? Then we're going to be knowing that after when you are just um, the telling that, okay, I'm sleepy, now let's go sleep. So then what will they do? Let's go find out to my beautiful group number two. Because truth be told, I don't see that you are going to give your person uh, fake excitement. No, my group number two. You guys are very much open-minded, okay? So there is like lots of open communication and you will tell your person that what's really your plan is and that's how true the connection is. So, okay, with the Queen of Swords, Three of Wands and the Queen of Cups, wow. First of all, Madeline, when you're turning on your person at that point of time, your person will find you that you are extremely bold. Somehow I'm getting that you're extremely bold. Your person will see that you're extremely bold. You are fascinating. And if you really try to be an actor or actress, you could be number one. Because somehow you, your person will find you that you are way too passionate and sexy to be just a normal person. Because it feels like your person got that jackpot or lottery to have a wifey or hubby like you. Because you really possess lots of qualities that top actor, actress or the top top people who really work in the love industry have that energy in them so group number one you're naturally very seductive sorry group number two so group number two you're naturally very seductive so it's like 
you don't have to do or you don't have to uh, put lots of effort um to turn on your person okay you can just flirt with them you can just say some sweet words to them you can just be yourself or maybe dress up nicely or just you know putting some makeup on or just putting some dress on that is not usually you do you look different okay it's just your attitude that is very much exciting and different with the queen of cups okay now how you'll turn them on you know how by caring them by giving them motherly vibe okay it's very simple thing that you will feed them you will wipe their mouth you will make them drink some water or maybe wine uh, with the queen of cups you will nurture them you will take care of them just for example you will give them massage okay you will give them massage maybe like body massage or head massage or you will treat them nicely like a prince or princess treatment you will give them and this is the way you will turn your person on it's like you are giving pleasure to your person not in an obvious way okay not you're doing something very much obviously that you are desperately trying to turn them on no my darling you're like in a low key you will try to turn your person on by doing lots of sweet things okay now with the three of ones is the energy like your person is someone they are really becoming very greedy um one moment after the another because group number two you are someone you have the idea also that people get addicted to you very easily because of your energy because of the aura that you have and some treatment that you really give group number two you can really make someone feel extremely comfortable in your energy okay so whoever really uh comes in your vibe those people really feel excited and comfortable so you make your person feel comfortable in the energy and this is how you see you turn them on it's like your person can't hold themselves back anymore it's like oh my god you're too good to be true group number two you just know how to uh, make your person turn on it's not something doing cocky or sexy no 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 your person can't get turned on by those things like your person can't get turned on by those like typical obvious things that people usually do no it's something attitude it's something that how you treat them naturally this is how your person get uh, turned on okay it's very little thing like you take care of them you ask them that if everything is okay or not you just pat their head you just give them extra attention you just show your appreciation to whatever they do or you just show your gesture that you support them or or they got you okay you're always behind their back whenever they need you 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 got it so this is the vibe my darling that you will turn them on okay and it's something that you will also tell them that baby i'll turn you on and then i'm not going to do anything with you and then tell me that how you can calm yourself down okay so you're gonna be really asking your person that what would they do okay what would you do that's the vibe is here so group number two then when you stop the, when you're really stopping yourself from turning them on and then uh, telling them that how would you calm yourself down then what your person would oh my god the magician the empress ten of pentacles oh baby oh baby now let me tell you one thing uh, with the ten of pentacles and the empress card First of all, my darling, your person will tell you that your person will try to satisfy themselves by using their own hands, okay? <laughs> yes, this is the why, like your person will try to satisfy themselves in front of you. That, you know what, if I can't get you, I can imagine you and I can have this thing, okay? <laughs> okay, the first thing is there. And the second thing is I'm getting with the ten of with the Empress card and the Magician, it's like, yeah, satisfying themselves. And with the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician card, it's also the vibe is like your person will try to imagine a very good family that they're having or just visioning about you. Or maybe they will try to do their hobby that they really have as their sidekicks like painting, drawing, music, music instrument, singing song, or maybe riding a bicycle or just going for a night run or, or a walk 
or maybe just um, hitting the gym or doing some push-ups I don't know something to sweat so that they can like run and just calm themselves down this is the vibe okay and your person will show you that how much they are craving your touch okay your person will make you feel that way because with the Empress card your person will tell you that it's so difficult for your person to hold themselves back especially when you are there in front of them because group number two your person is someone they are very clingy and they always want you they always want you it's like i don't know why but i'm getting they're always holding your hands outside even when you guys are outside they're always only holding your hands you guys are really like not separated not separated for a moment always good with each other twin flame energy is here and whenever you guys are inside the home your person like randomly they will give you hugs kisses Lots of physical touch is here. So it's not easy for your person to hold them so back. But they will do that. If you don't like it. If you really want to know that. How would they calm themselves down. Or what would they do. If you are not ready to give. Uh, the beautiful physical love to them. Yeah they will satisfy themselves by imagining you. Or they will do something to. Um, change their mindset. To change that goal. Okay, maybe, maybe they'll do some exercise or listening to a lot of music and then running or just, you know, doing some crazy stuff. Like maybe it's their hobby or just doing something random stuff, random thing. Okay. Wow, that's cute. Also, your person really got a pet. So maybe your person will play with the pet. Yeah, seven of ones with the five of ones. Yeah, five of ones really talks about the gym vibe that I'm getting or exercise vibe with the seven of ones. It's like, oh, okay. For some of you, the seven of wands really give me the vibe like your person will um, try to text you something that what they want to do to you or try to, like if you're physically there, your person will try to try to beg you. Like I'm getting the begging energies here. Yeah, like try to beg you that give me, okay, I can do anything. What if, like whatever you tell me i will do that thing so big energy is your person will tell you that if you are there if uh, you if it's possible for them to access your beautiful touch your person will beg you your person can do anything they can go to any extent to make you feel that they want you they need you okay because it's not easy for your person to control themselves yeah look at that seven of wands again coming from different deck and empress is again coming from different deck so what's there what's there as you can see, my darling, this is the energy like hmm, this is the energy like your person. They can't lose you. They can't lose you, and they will make you feel that, babe, I can't lose you. Or oh, you are the one for me. Okay, I can do anything to get you. Or maybe your person will warn you that don't do that to me, okay? It's not an easy thing for me to do. Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles. I told you, Eight of Pentacles, they will try painting you or they will try to draw you or write a song about you, write a song about their own emotion. Or maybe they will write that down, whatever they want to do to you. With the Wheel of Fortune, with the Wheel of Fortune, they will try to change the, change the mood. I don't know, but they will try to change the mood. But with the seven of wands, it's like lots of emotions are coming and it's not easy for your person to fight all those emotions. Some of them will try to vent it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the energy. A person is someone. Mm. So, you know, group number two, it's not easy for your person to get turned on. But if they are turning on, it's not easy for them to make themselves turned off. Okay, it's like it really took time. It's, it's, it's really okay. They really need time to calm down. <laughs> group two, group two. What's really happening here? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Look at that. I told you that you guys are twin flame. Definitely, you guys are twin flame with the vision. And you got the apocalypse. So, what the vibe is here? Apocalypse is like your person is someone they can. They can die for you. They can kill anyone for you. They're extremely in love with you. My darling, their love is dangerous. Let me tell you one thing. They can love you. Oh my God. They can do anything for you. 
you know my darling this love story when you and your person will have is something that is very hard to find in this earth nowadays because group number two you guys are like one soul maybe you guys are two body but one soul two body one soul energies here so when you're really turning your person on your person can't think that you will go back to sleep no that's why that's why my group number you're going to be telling your person prior to do that that look at that i'll turn you on and then i'll go back to sleep and this is just a prank and i just want to know that how would you react that said okay you can show me that how would you react and then i can give you then i can definitely going to do the rest of the thing because group number two i can see that you will continue with the flame card you're not going to sleep no definitely not because you can see how your person is suffering that if you really do that it's not easy for them to control their emotion because group number two your person is they're like fire okay it's really not easy for them to cool down but with the vision card you can see this you can feel the connection you can feel the extreme sense of this relationship you can feel that it's not just a relationship it's not just a normal um person that i'm having a life with it's not something that can be um funny no it's not funny you will feel my darling that it's not funny it's not funny to do these things okay so with the apocalypse card and with the vision card i can definitely see group number two you are really going to have that intense love making after pranking them or after telling them that what would they do if if you really stop doing the things and going going back to sleep because you're not going to going back to sleep my group number two instead of that after knowing what would your person uh, do to calm themselves down you are going to love them even more and you guys are going to be having that intense love making because it's something that you cannot hold and your person cannot hold let's go take some of the beautiful melody card okay hold your vision uh the aries energy can be aries aries or your person can be aries or the gemini you can be gemini your person can be gemini communication is key definitely you guys will communicate with each other a lot beautiful clear communication will be there in this connection my darling that's why in your connection it's very rare that you guys are fighting no you guys are not fighting because you guys really feel each other and see each other completely with the aries energy my darling there is lots of passion lots of passion and uncontrolled emotion uncontrolled desire that cannot be controlled and if you really give it a fire then it becomes more dangerous with the hold your vision definitely with hold your vision is like whatever your plan is you're going to be telling your person that's it but then you have to you have to love your person because it's something that will come naturally to you my group number two mm. it will be very much natural to you because you know how your person is feeling so what's there in your relationship my darling what's there in your connection in your connection there is detachment you're releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest idols of love so group number two I can see detachment from jealousy, possessiveness, detachment from toxicity, detachment from your past memories and past experiences. Group number two, the person is really entering in your life who is going to help you to get rid of all of your bad memories, and you're also going to help your person to get rid of all, get rid of all, all of their old memories. It's like a new, fresh start is here. transformation well wow. you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness you know what in this relationship you guys can feel what true love can do what true love can do you guys can feel it because group number 2 love is not just love for you guys love is something like very powerful and transformative thing for you in your relationship in your life You so your life is going to change after that. Okay? 
that's all I got for you my group number two I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel that bell icon for new update till then stay blessed and happy I love you my darling so much hello my darling my amazing pile number three welcome welcome to your magical reading so you choose the mending card right my darling with the mending energy I'm definitely sensing that group number three you're really turning on your person and going back to sleep and it's not going to happen. You cannot go back to sleep because your person will never let you sleep. Oh my God. Oh my God, group number two. I'm already getting the mending energy. It's like you are turning them on and then it's not easy for you to go back to sleep because you can see the thirst, love, passion and a bit of desperation in your person's eyes that they can do anything to make it happen somehow you can see that how how happy your person is so if you're really having that in your mind that you will turn your person on and then going back to sleep it's not going to happen your plan will not work out that's the energy that i'm sensing so let's go find out my beautiful group number three what's really coming for you so you are turning on your person then how would your person react let's go find out how would your person react okay with the ace of pentacle with the page of wands and the queen of pentacle oh my god oh my god look at that they're so happy like a baby look at that with the page of wands they're excited they're happy they're like so happy you can see their happiness in their bright eyes you can see when you're turning your person on your person is so happy so excited they are like enjoying they're laughing they're literally making it feel like it's kind of celebration or it's kind of like win-win situation for um uh, for you guys with the page of wonders enjoyment excitement childlike vibe is here okay and then you have the ace of pentacle your presence is can't wait to get you with the ace of pentacle do you remember the red uh, tarot card then you will see that your person just can't wait to see you um bear in their in their in their in their arms okay they just can't can't stop themselves from holding you in their arms because your person is someone it's like they love to stay very much close to you they love to smell you they love to smell your sweat your scent or they have to like sniff you that's the vibe is here okay they got the dog energy maybe in their um chinese zodiac your person really got the dog placement okay they can be the dog the dog zodiac um like your person really have that like you know strong strong element that i need to cuddle you i need to just hold you superly close like you know this is the person my group number three that you're going to marry like they will hug you and they will add that extra squeeze at the end of the hug yes your person will do this kind of like little things to show you that how much you're important for them but with the ace of pentacle and the page of wands at the point of time you're turning them on you can see how happy they are and they're going to look at you like you're the earth angel that you are really making them feel so beautiful and peaceful okay with the queen of pentacles look at that it's like you will you can see that they trust you queen of pentacles is the card of trust queen of pentacles is the card of enjoyment some of your person will feel that they're happy and they're enjoying whatever is happening there Queen of Pentacles talks about enjoyment and confidence that you guys are having. So this is the energy. Queen of Pentacles is like, yeah, I'm sitting around. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm just enjoying. So somehow Queen of Pentacles talks about true enjoyment that your, that your person will feel. And that you can sense that your person is really truly enjoying that. Okay. And you can also see the seriousness in their face. Like they're so much serious with your love that you're doing it. Hmm. Group number three, it's like you're falling for your own trap. <laughs> okay, like you're really... um. Oh my God, like you're really falling for your own trap. Okay, it's like your plan is backfiring. Yeah, three of swords. Oh my God, you got the three of swords. And you got the Ten of Cups. Now, this is the energy I'm sensing that... Okay, like you're turning them on. That's good. 
your person is feeling blessed and now three of swords is like you are dying inside because at the thoughts that you that you might stop at the moment and then tell them that you're going to sleep this thought is really killing you you cannot do that okay so it's like your person's reaction will be so authentic like blessed confident and they're loving it in a so pure way like you can see their good intention that it's not possible for you to stop it okay even though you know that you're just playing and you know you're about to say that baby i'm sleeping i'm going back to sleep you know though your devil mind is really playing hard but you cannot do that because three of swords look at that you're dying inside it's like oh my god how can i say that i was just playing and i'm going back to sleep oh my god i cannot do that so this is the vibe is like oh my god i can't do this okay i can do this because ten of cups you can see how happy your person is you can see that if you do it and continue doing it and met this beautiful final climax your person will be so happy you can see this okay you can see this that if you just continue doing these things your person will be extremely happy and it's it's one of the moment when you really make your person feel very happy and satisfied and if you stop it then you're really going to break your person heart in a very bad way and it's not a good thing somehow my darling you will put yourself into your person's place and you're going to see that it's not a good thing to get from your partner okay like you will have that realization look at that look at that in the bottom of the deck five of sword conflict in your mental conflict my pile number three you started this game but you are falling for your own trap okay so <laughs> that's cute that's cute because your person is your future spouse is very sweet very cute and they're having such a sweet smile and the way they appreciate you and the way they're really opening themselves up only for you it's not easy for you to make them feel that it's done i'm okay no it's not easy okay so what happened next let's go find out yeah with the seven of sword four of sword eight of wands look at that look at that with the seven of sword you are really acting a bit like you 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 really try to prank your person with the seven of sword is a prank energy deceive energy okay you really try to deceive your person in a way that okay i'll turn them on and then going back to sleep you, that's what that was your plan okay you got the hidden plan okay but with the four of sword you really started overthinking and then eight of wands you end up having the beautiful love making with them and changing the plan because with the eight of wands talks about you are changing your plan at the end of the of the time okay it's like when you're exactly the perfect climax you cannot just turn yourself off from that situation that you are really going to do it was very much difficult for you to do but eight of wands and you got the four of sword here it's like after thinking a lot it's just time for you to continue doing whatever you are doing so it's like oh my god a change in plan <laughs> your person is lucky to get such a compassionate lover like you my pile number three because you're extremely compassionate and you're extremely empathetic and you can put yourself to a person's position and you can feel that how would your person react if you really stop doing that thing suddenly and you just tell them that you're sleepy it's not a good thing it's not a good impression that you will have from your partner okay uh well let's go find out because you're continue continuing doing whatever you are doing how would your person then react with the heart myth energy and the sun wow your person is like with the heart myth energy they will enjoy soulfully okay because with the heart myth energy like okay because look at that in that excitement in that place your person is alone it's not like no one was there okay somehow your person will feel 
that the love or the emotion, the energy you are giving your person at that point of time, it's something that your person doesn't have to share with anybody else. It's something that only your person is receiving from you. Somehow your person will feel special, okay? Because it's only them that they are receiving lots of affection, love, gift, to touch, those beautiful you know romantic vibe from you that beautiful love and intimate connection from you they are really receiving it from you and some of your person will feel that i am the king i'm the queen i'm the person that i am receiving everything from my partner and i don't need to share this thing with anybody else it's completely mine some of your person will feel self satisfied or self-fulfilled okay and the sun your person will feel like they are the sun look at that the sun in the center of the uh beautiful galaxy okay in the solar system sun is the in the in the center point okay then everybody look at the sun no one can avoid the sun like there is no darkness in front of sun even darkness become light if if there is sun so your person will feel like they're the happiest one they're the happiest one because sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck. Sun really talks about when someone is extremely happy that they are beaming like sunlight. It is exactly what your person will feel like. They're like, oh my God, I'm the happiest person in the world. Pile number three, you got a magical power to satisfy your partner into the next level. Where your person is like, wow, I am... I'm so, so, so happy. I'm so happy for my partner. I'm so happy. Okay. Let's go find out more. What's there? Let's go find out more. So, yes, the warrior is here. The gem is here. And the arrows is here. And the healer card also came. So, you could be a healer watching my video. Psychic, territory, witchcraft, you do things. Or maybe you are very much connected with spirit guides, angels, God. Or you know. Or you are just walking the path of God. You are a healer. That's why my darling. You can feel other people's energy. With the arrows card. It really talks about the intimate connection. Uh, between you and your person. That will be very strong. And it's not easy for you to hold back yourself. With the gem card. You know that your person treats you so nice. And you are a precious person for your future spouse okay that's why you're gonna be fighting your own devil though my darling you really got a plan but the warrior energy like you are fighting your own plan and just you know prioritizing your person's happiness rather than anything else because you're like oh my god no my plan is my plan okay i can do that in another time but right now it's not time to play okay it's time to prioritize my person first this is the vibe i am getting okay so let's go find out some monology cards as well for your group so hold your vision okay libra a new romantic cycle begins you could be libra your person could be libra or maybe the venus sign is very strong and the pisces you can be pisces your person can be pisces or uh, a dreamer type energy is here okay a dream a dream come true conclusions are within reach yes look at that hold your vision conclusions are within reach why 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 because you are starting all of these things by having a plan in your mind but look at that the way you thought it will end it up it really never end, end up the way you wanted it because it's something magical okay like the twist is there in the game and that is really God is giving you the point to twist your story and make it a magical one. Like you wanted to have a very sharp, uh, like a foxy, sly kind of a story. Like you're like pulling prank on your person. But you end up doing a very romantic and happy thing for your person. And you're really changing your partner's whole mood. So, okay, you wanted to be a villain, but you become a hero or heroine at the end of the day. That is exactly your energy, my group number three. Because no matter how sly you are, you just can't um can't make your person feel sad or heartbroken okay you're not that kind of a person okay 
also with the libra energy you're extremely loving i can see lots of love and romanticism in your relationship in your relationship there is also detachment from any past toxic energy so group number three you can be like okay like doubly assured that no one from your past no one from your person past is really coming and ruin your connection because there is strong detachment from negativity and with the release yeah detachment and release same cause look at that negative energies are releasing old memories are releasing nothing is not going to work that was part like old memories it's something new plans new life new experiences new relationship with lots of peacefulness and discernment where you can develop the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion where you can see how true love feels like it's not like that you're love bombing and you're just enjoying the initial part of your relationship and then losing um the connection or interest no it pure love feels like wine or beard it's really grow more stronger more tastier more beautiful through time that's all i got for you my beautiful group number three i hope you enjoyed this reading give it a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon for a new update till then stay blessed and happy i love you my darling so much